with EMSOL, we've been working on a network of uh, pollution monitoring sensors. So that's monitoring PM 2.5, PM 10, dust, but also noise. It also means that if we do have to enforce against somebody who's breaching their planning conditions and polluting quite significantly, we can go in there with a good degree of confidence that what we're doing is justified um, and that makes best use of our resources and it may, means that our relationship with the developer is maintained as well because they know that if we do show up and we do have an issue, we've got the data to back it up. The uh, sensors trip, I can say we've got a spike of some nature, or even if we've got a report from a resident that says, oh, well, I went past this and I saw or heard this, this and this, we can check the data, we can see exactly if there was a breach, and or not, as the case may be, and if there was a breach, we can see what was, what the breach was, uh, how intensive it was, where on the site that breach occurred, and that's critical because with the old school system of, well, there's pollution somewhere in this vicinity, knowing where, where the enforcement needs to take place is again part of a fair and clean solution.